DCI amplifiers with network control and DSP have the ability to monitor speaker load impedance and report any faults detected. This feature, called continuous load monitoring, is configured using HiQnet Audio Architect software. To enable continuous load monitoring, double-click on the virtual representation of the amp to open the default device panel. Next, double-click on the amp icon for the output channel you wish to configure to bring up the amplifier settings window. The controls for continuous load monitoring are located to the right side of this window. First, enter the nominal expected impedance of the load. Next, designate the high and low threshold that will determine when the test is a failure. The default values are acceptable when simply trying to detect an open or a short, but you may want to narrow the thresholds when connected to a parallel, series, or series parallel load to help determine individual speaker failures. Finally, turn on continuous load monitoring by pressing the button to the on state. When there is enough output signal to obtain an accurate measurement, the feature will automatically start testing. When measuring, a testing indicator will be illuminated in the measured impedance reported. If the Report Errors button is turned on, the event log will also indicate that the expected speaker load impedance is outside the low and high thresholds. The amplifier GPIO can also be configured to toggle states when Report Errors is turned on. Additionally, the Load indicator on the default device panel will light up red. This feature is not designed to work during light background music and other low amplitude audio signals. The amplifier will only begin testing when there is substantial audio on the output channel. Thank you for watching this video. For questions, comments, or suggestions regarding this or any other video, please send them to the email address shown below. For technical assistance, please call the Technical Support Department or email them at the options shown below.